Yo, welcome back, Zykor here, and today in No Man's Sky, well, I've got good news and I have bad news. Now what should I give you first? The good news or the bad news? Well, okay, I'll give you the good news. The good news is, uh, next generation, the next generation patch has dropped, and uh, seems like it's probably pretty good. Has a bunch of graphical upgrades and... Uh, all that kind of stuff and that also means that uh, or not also means but they also uh, allowed it to be on PS5 and Xbox Series X and stuff so that's a definite improvement plus I think now they allow like uh, 32 people in the same planet so that's a good improvement as well but now for the bad news the bad news is my CPU can't handle next generation <laughs> yeah um, so uh, yeah what I had to do here is I had to cut the planet detail down to high rather than uh, ultra where I had it at because yeah my CPU just just can't handle it it's it's too weak I mean <laughs> my CPU is a core i7 930 uh, from 2010 yeah, my CPU is 10 years old. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, pretty weak. I've been trying to save up uh, for buy building a new system. Uh, haven't got to that point yet. But, I, of course, if you'd like to help me out by donating a little bit, there's some links in the description. Um, and, yeah, I'd really appreciate that if you do. But uh, other than that, um, I decided to up my graphics to 2560 by 1440 make it a little bit more detailed because I do know my GPU can handle it my GPU is a 1070 and that's like what five years old now four years old something like that and but I had to cut the frame rate to 30 FPS so yeah because um, I could tell in some of my previous videos that uh, there was scratchy audio during some loading areas, so I already kind of knew I had to cut my graphics down, um, and yeah, my, my system just can't handle it. I can handle, I mean, my system can handle 4K at 30 FPS in uh, Monster Hunter World, which I have a s series on. You should check that out too. Why not? Um, but, yeah, I'm thinking that it, it probably can't handle 4K 30 FPS on uh, No Man's Sky here because there's a lot of procedural generation in No Man's Sky, and my CPU just can't handle that. <laughs> so, uh, today in No Man's Sky, uh, we're gonna just do the, um, buy this, uh, what is it, freighter upgrade? And make it the hyperdrive upgrade the warp core resonator um, I wanted to make this because then I can continue on the line to be able to get the uh, hyperdrive upgrade that will allow my my freighter to go to blue systems because uh, <laughs> I've been wanting to summon my freighter to some of the blue systems I'm in <laughs> you know and huh, yeah I can't without this hyperdrive upgrade so I'm going to get this warp core resonator, and then I'll need to build some quantum computers, and I think I have some antimatter housings, and I have the cadmium. There we go. And basically, for this, um, just get rid of that. Yeah, I just, for this, I just needed uh, salvaged frigate modules. I had four of them. Um, then I'll, I'm going to need a whole bunch more. But salvaged frigate modules you can get from, uh, you know, raiding, raiding freighters, um, and your frigate missions can also give them. And I think you can also get them from crashed freighters as well, so that can help. Um, but other than that, yeah, they're they're not too easy to get. So um, now I'm gonna look for. Let's see, what's it take to make the quantum computer I need? 
and you you can get the blueprint for the quantum computer uh, from the uh, from some of the uh, what are they the manufacturing facilities. Um, so just raid a manufacturing facility, and as long as you can successfully answer the question correctly, um, you have a chance at bringing up the blueprint purchase screen. Um, it's not a guaranteed thing. Sometimes you'll get just nanites or something like that. Um, but yeah, that's the way you get that, the blueprint for it at least. Okay, I've got some microcomputer uh, or microprocessors in here. Uh, let's just take all of them for now. That's a little too many. <laughs> I don't need all of that. Uh, put that in there. There we go. I think I only need like, what was it? Was it one? Let's see. I think it gave me a quest for it. Um, I need one quantum computer. Okay. And then, eh. And then four antimatter housing. Okay. So just make one quantum computer. There we go. And I'll put that all back in. Oh, I have my antimatter housings in here. There we go. Oh, it separated four out for me. Haha, <laughs> convenient. Okay. Now, uh, get over to my freighter here. And I might as well install it right here. Uh, right there we go. And this will also give me another 200 light years of range as well. So that's not bad. So get that put in. There we go. Yes, I got a warp core resonator. And this, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think it allows me to get to any better systems. It just gives me more range. Um, the next upgrade will allow me to get to... Uh, to red systems, I believe. Uh, I got too many doors here. <laughs> uh, so I'll just go up here and check that out. Let's see. So purchase upgrades. Yes, this will allow me to get to red stellar bodies. So I just need to get four more salvaged frigate modules. And, um, yeah, then I can finally get that. Otherwise, this, uh, uh, plasmatic warp injector, it looks to be pretty good because it gives an extra 300 hyperdrive range. And then, uh, this one gives an extra 800 hyperdrive range. So basically, you can use your, hyper your freighter to get to some pretty far away systems. But these are also pretty expensive. I mean, 12 salvage frigate modules alone just for this upgrade. Yeah, that's that's pretty expensive. <laughs> and I, I'm going to need, uh, so four, so an eight, and then 12. I'm going to need another 24 salvage frigate modules just to get all three of these. That is going to be difficult. So, um, I guess now that I've got that in my freighter, which was uh, actually fairly easy since I had the uh, stuff for it. I guess I can try to go maybe... I, I do need to do some derelict freighters to get some hyperdrive upgrades and more bulkheads. So I could do another derelict freighter quick and just see what I get. Oh, I need to sell that ship. Actually, I'm not sell it. Break it down. So I'm gonna do that. Um, let's see. Do I have anything in it? Yeah, this this ship is pretty bad. Uh, oh, I can dismantle that. That's not bad. Put this in my exosuit. That too. Can I break down anything else? Yes. There we go. There we go. Anything else I can break down? No. I'm not going to repair that. I'm going to break it down. Because I don't need this ship. Anything in technology? Nope. Okay, yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna just probably... I'm going to go break this ship down because I don't need it. Let's get to the space station. Uh, space station is 
over there. Ah, no, gotta wait. No, I, I'm not trying to go there. I'm trying to go to the space station. Would you please target? Thank you. <laughs> okay, just get in here. And let's see what... Uh... I get for dismantling this thing. And that, <laughs> that, uh, that, uh, warning <laughs> audio is <laughs> kind of irritating. <laughs> okay. Let's see what I get. Oh, I can get another exosuit upgrade. Haha. -ha. There we go. Okay. Now, I don't think I had anything in the ship. I got, I took everything out. Because, yeah, when you do this, you want to make sure you take everything out of it. And d dismantle everything you can, too. Okay. So, claim scrap. Only worth 420k. Hopefully I have enough slots left to to hold all this. I better. <laughs> Actually, no, let's let's just check quick. Um Do I have enough slots? Uh let's put this in there. You know, I could probably put a bunch of this stuff in my starship. I don't really need it in there. This needs to go. That. I was trying to refine that. Is that gonna. Oh. There we go. Okay, uh, put this in my starship. And I guess. I'll put the rusted metal in. No, I can't yet, probably. Let's see. Yeah. Take that. Now put the rusted metal in there. And that can just refine. Okay, I think I have enough. No, not that. No, I don't want to put... Never mind. Uh, I forgot about that. Not in my starship. In my... High capacity XO suit. I forgot. I don't have this starship. <laughs> I, mean, I don't have the right starship. Uh... That would have been bad. Okay, now I'll destroy it and see what happens. Scrap. Claim scrap. There we go. So hyperdrive modules. Handful of cogs. Springs. Okay. I didn't get any uh, slot expanders, sadly. It's not fair. Got some activated emerald, though. Huh. Okay. Now, I'm stuck with that ship. You know, I should get rid of that. I mean, is it really even worth it? It's a C rank. Let's see. I mean, this is the beginning ship, but honestly, I don't really need it. I feel like scrapping it. Maybe I should. Just because. I don't have anything to remove. I mean, I have one thing to remove, but... But, you know, maybe I'll just scrap it when I need to actually need to get uh, some space. So, I guess I'm gonna... I got, uh, what? I got, like, three billion <laughs> from my farm. And my farm isn't even fixed. I haven't fixed it for... to get it to work right. But, um, let's see if I can... Yeah, he's charging me 30 million now. Yeah, he's... it's not changing. It's supposed to reset every week, but it doesn't. 
And I can't purchase old scrap. So, um, let's see. I guess I'll get... Yeah, I guess I'll get one. Yeah, he... This is... That's, uh... As somebody I know said, that's highway robbery. <laughs> uh, it's a strange term, but... Uh, it's... Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see here. So I'll get out of here. Oh, I gotta go sell this junk. Might as well just sell this stuff to the NPCs up here. And I'll go find the derelict freighter. Do a quick run. And then see what I can get for a... Uh, upgrade module. Sell that, sell that. Does he have anything interesting? Radiation protection, underwater protection. Wow, thermal protection, life support. Toxic protection, movement module. I'm actually tempted. Actually, what, what do I have? Um, life support, do I have? I mean, this thing sucks. I'd be better off getting another life support. You know, why not? Can't hurt, can it? I'll get the life support quick. See how well that works. Actually, I'm interested in seeing how well my cold protection works in a derelict freighter. Okay, get that. There we go. Let's see what I get. Um, let's just put that over there. Put it right there. 64% life support tanks and 42% solar power. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna scrap this. This one was, was not worth it. There we go. So that's a lot better. And then that's... That gets really irritating when that gets stuck. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna sell some of this junk here, and then I'll go find a derelict freighter, and then be back. Okay, all I got uh, was um, let's see. Let's get over here. Yeah, I took a. a upgrade module from this one that I did and it looks like it's just a beacon but it's only B rank but let's just see what it is so I'll put it in fleet communicator wait I already have one of those it's not an actual upgrade so it just raised the expedition speed by 6% uh, kind of disappointing. Wish I would have taken a bulkhead. <laughs> uh, but I did get a nice amount of items. Uh, I got a lot of stuff. Um, and I started out with uh, 78 tainted metal. But now I've got 354. So, not bad. Um, but... <sighs> For some reason, I was only able to get the manifest. I wasn't able to get the the captain's log, which is unfortunate because it. For I guess for some reason, I wasn't able to put in the credentials for it. Yeah, kind of strange. <laughs> so um, let's see here. Let's just sell some of this stuff. So sell to him. just sell that there we go I did get a good amount of nanites though I think I just I think I spent I spent like 600 on that one upgrade and I'm back to 9,500 because that's what I was before <laughs> I um, bought that upgrade <laughs> so yeah it's kind of crazy 
And I got some rares. But I'd like to find one of those, uh... What are they? The... Um... The archives? The archive buildings? Of course. Uh, I don't have enough room in my exosuit for these. So just sell those two. And then just switch to my ship here. Got a bunch of these I can sell. I came out with more nanites than what I spent before I came in. <laughs> uh, that's, that's crazy. I came out with probably, what, 700 nanites? That's kind of nice. Let's see what I get for the man from the manifest from this guy. Let's see, uh, cell crew manifest. He gave me 180 tainted metal. Eh, it's it's okay, not that good. Let's see what I can get though. That should give me uh, like 400 tainted metal or so. 500 maybe um, nowhere near the 3200 but eh, that's kind of <laughs> it's kind of an ugly headgear I, and this is kind of what I want I want one of these the wriggling companion things I'd like to put that in my base and then just decals so I think I mean this is a banner yeah for your your title I don't know I think what I'd like to do is save up for this so I'd have to do another freighter but probably don't have time for that right now that's an interesting freighter a, I mean, not freighter hollow it's an A rank 31 slots eh? yeah, it's not that amazing it's kind of boxy Okay, I gotta sell some of this junk. So get over here and sell some. Maybe I'll try and find one of the archives quick. I'm not sure what that would be under if the cartographer sells that. I don't know. Can the cartographer direct you to that stuff? Uh, leave that, leave a comment, let me know. Because I'm actually not sure. I'll try it here see what I would think it might be under, but I'm not sure. Okay, neural ducts. He sent pheromone bottles. Hypnotic eyes. Eh, you know, I could sell those. They, I can refine them for nanites too, but eh. I'll just sell them for now. Um, this, I think I'll keep that if I can find it an archive right now uh had all cores yeah i'll just sell that too okay switch to my ship i have some stuff in here nip nip buds i'll probably keep those can be useful uh gek nip as well larval cores let's sell those okay that gives me some some space. Not a whole lot, though. <laughs> so, um, I'll take this uh, and put it in my exosuit. Same thing with this. And see if I can find an archive building. Um, let's see. Can the cartographer send you to what? I don't know. So, exchange maps. So, this would be secure sites. Probably not that. And this is distress signals. I'm assuming not that either. Um, inhabited outpost. Maybe? And then the artifacts. Yeah, that probably wouldn't be it. So the only thing I can think of that it might be is this. I really don't know. Unless you have to actually just search for one yourself. But, you know, let's just get one of these and see. So, she is one. Minor settlement. Okay, let's use another one. 
Actually, what do they call the archive buildings if you were to find it this way? I don't know. Eh. Planetary archive. Okay, there we go. It found it. Okay, so I can go to the planetary archive and let's just exchange these uh, these artifacts and see if we can get something more expensive. Uh, where is the archive now? Okay, so that is the minor settlement. This is the colossal archive. Oh, come on. I'm not that close. Okay, just about there. I should see it coming in any second. Come on, load in. There it is. There we go. I think it's still loading. <laughs> yeah, there. Eh, no. Okay. So that's nice. You can find the planetary archive by just talking to the cartographer. That's pretty good. Kind of how it should be. Favishar? Actually, that's a pretty interesting name for a planet. Huh. How was he landing right on top of my ship? Come on, dude. This is my parking spot. I'm pretty sure I landed on there. Yeah. How can he take my parking spot? That's not fair. Okay. Um, oh, there's the archive. Let's see. Artifact exchange. So what can I exchange here? Okay, submit biological sample. Astounding worms? Okay. So... What did I get? Parcel of preserved cuttings. So... This is treasure, so I can't turn that in. I wasn't sure. Let's see. I can't... It's locked now? That's not fair. They limit me? Okay, well, uh, let's just see what else is around here. I thought there were two of them. Maybe there was at that one other, uh, one I was at, but here there isn't. Yeah, right here. This is locked. So I can't use that anymore. That's not fair. I'm sad. So let's just explore around here a little bit. You can go up here. So here's a uh, global terminal. Okay, here we go. Artifacts exchange vault. Okay, it's got found some more of them. Why was there one down there? Huh, interesting. Okay, I do have a biological sample. Parcel of preserved cuttings. Okay. Sparkling bangles. Okay. And I can't use it anymore. Okay, so you only really get one. You can only do it once. Okay, well, let's see what that's worth. Eh, not really much better. These are still more worth it, the treasure. So basically, you can't uh, trade in treasure. You can really only trade in biological bones or historical documents. Okay. But, okay, that's 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 fine, I guess. I'll have to just go sell those. Actually, there's a galactic terminal over here. I can do that right, right here. 
Let's see what he's got. Um, components. Okay, he's just got usual stuff. Frankly, I could just sell this to him. Not there. Will he buy these? These artifacts? Okay. He'll buy them. But maybe I'll check the uh, global trade terminal quick. And this. Local information. Print chart for 15 nanites. Okay, so this is a chart for a, to a artifact. There we go. Yeah, ancient ruin site. Okay, actually it's to a, ru a ruin site. Okay. Wait, what? Wait, nope, I can't use that again. That must have been this, so I can only use that once too. Okay. Let's see what he's selling. So he's part of the Explorers Guild? Well, yeah, I'll accept my gift. Oh, well, hey, that's nice. He gave me 187 nanites. Okay, let's see what this sells for on the Global Trade Terminal. Sell. Huh. Okay, that NPC over there is going to give me more. Yeah, he's actually going to give me more for it. So uh, let's just uh, sell it to him. <laughs> he's actually going to give me above what I want rather than below. So... Yeah, he's giving me a, a little, bit, little bit above. <laughs> There we go. Haha. <laughs> okay, let's see what the lore says up here. It's always nice to have a little bit of lore. Corvax Archive is intended only for its own species. Okay, so... What should I say? Journey Echo Experiment journey. Access archive denied. Please retry voice command. Oh wow. Researcher? Arch archive access granted. Okay. Decrypt archive. Archive holds shards of thoughts recovered from fallen convergences. These are the last remaining mines of electronic life forms destroyed and melted down in their millions. Journey. Brain. Formed in void, spontaneous, complete, atlas protocol made flesh. Okay. The Atlantid, called Void Mother by lesser voices, brought pilgrims its mass. Lived for millennia, died whispering of the 19th minute. Rebirth? Left secrets beyond computation, beyond uh, mind arcs, carapace, convergence. Corvax honored fallen, tried to bring back Atlantid, birth failed, eggs. On the shoulders of a sleeping god, from flesh built a metal world. A home? The Void Mother lived, the Prime. Okay, so I feel like I'm going in circles now. Rebirth? Left secrets beyond computation, beyond... Oh, okay, I said that already. Yeah, I think I'm going in circles now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll leave. Okay, well, that was, that's kind of... I mean, it's supposed to be lore, but it's actually kind of hard to read because of the... Uh, you know, the portions of it that it doesn't let you read. <laughs> it's kind of weird. But I guess uh, I got some uh, interesting stuff from that derelict freighter. Uh, yeah, I got, oh, let's see what this direction is. Yeah, I got some 
pretty good uh, things from it. Mostly I got a good amount of tainted metal and a um, pretty good amount of nanites as well. So it's, that's pretty useful. Didn't get uh, what I wanted. I wanted a higher rank um, upgrade for my freighter, but I didn't get it. I didn't get any of them, <laughs> sadly. So I'll have to continue searching. But I guess that's probably it for this episode. Just going to head over to that. And I'll see what I get. But otherwise, yeah. So, if you like this episode, hit that like button. Really appreciate it. It really helps us out a lot. If you haven't already, subscribe. Hit that bell icon. Leave a comment. And of course, share it. Gotta get up here and out. And yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.